Hi guys and welcome back to another Let's Build episode. So last time we were building up the church and in this episode we're going to build up the church grounds and also some houses leading on another road to the church. Now if you're new to the channel we do a lot of tutorials and time lapses just like this one so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys if you're new to this series at all I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to the full Let's Build Pataria series and Lordsport series. Anyway guys, let's get into building. So I wanted to actually make quite a bit of an open area in the city and start opening up different parts of the city so that um, when you're actually walking around it, you kind of get into these areas and go, wow, that's opened up and it, it just kind of gives a bit of contrast to a lot of the streets. So we've got quite a few streets that are quite close together, especially that lower house dist uh, kind of district that we were making before. Um, and also even the, the medium and uh, kind of houses as well, they're pretty tight tight together quite close so I wanted to actually put in a graveyard so this is one of the original graveyards that's just been kept over time so I've actually got a crypt in here and I've got some quite big headstones as well using the different materials that we've got such as the polished black stone and granite diorite um, and andesite so using these to make some interesting kind of um, headstones really that was the main kind of idea that I had and also of course using stairs as well for the smaller ones but I did want to kind of make those grander ones so that it feels like it's kind of grown over time and those are the ones that have, have kind of kept and stayed around um, but yeah it's really nice on this side piece especially it looks really good and as you walk from where the town hall is the back of the town hall and past that church tower it really works quite nicely I think so last time guys last episode I asked you to name the church and the one that I've gone with is by MK Wolf 13 and that is this this church is gonna be called st. Elena's Church so she was the daughter of the noble house white main uh, that dedicated her life to helping the sick of the town using her own money and influence she organized and run a public hospital where poor people could get treatment for free so this would actually happen as well. So this is kind of like something that, that, that did happen um, back in, well, ancient times as such, including medieval times as well. So I, I just kind of wanted to add something in there and it kind of makes a lot of sense. And with the current climate as well, or, you know, the current situation that we're in, it kind of was fitting, I think. So it's St. Elena's Church. I really like that one. Really good suggestion there or really good story from uh, MK Wolf 13. So coming on to the side here, we are actually building a bawdy house. Um, so this is somewhere where um, people that would usually be night workers, let's call them that, uh, would actually be in. So this is a really long and thin house. Um, it's not got a lot uh, interior wise. It is really quite on a, a kind of strange place. Um, I've got it near the intersection with the um, lower class housing that we built over the last few episodes. So we've actually got that in there as well. Um, and rather than splitting this up into houses, because when I was looking at the interior, especially I was thinking this is going to be really quite difficult to do. Uh, so that's why I decided to go with it being a boardy house. So we'll have kind of like a bigger uh, kind of open area downstairs with open fireplaces and then have lots of rooms upstairs. So that'd be the idea of it anyway. It's got quite a, a few good views, though it is over the lower class. So you can imagine people that are working here are probably going to be in that lower class, class housing district. So that's where they're going to be. So onto the side of this now, um, I actually wanted to build some really quite colourful houses and with this one in particular, I wanted to have an archway that then went down into the lower class housing um, and actually have that go all the way through the middle of the house but have it quite um, thin and kind of claustrophobic. That was one of the, the kind of ones I wanted to go with when I was looking at this. Um, I wanted lots of ways that you can kind of explore the city so you're not just you know forced down a main road and going down there instead you can go down all these little side streets um, and that'll be quite good. I wanted to make it bigger as well to actually hide the boardy house from the church so that was one of the things that I wanted to do and another thing is that I'm actually going to make the houses on this row next to the church are really quite colourful so we're going to have lots of colour in there um, and it really works with a lot of the flowers that we've got around the graveyard um, and just in front of this bit as well as the space that it kind of creates it looks really good so with this one I went with a lot of blues um, there is quite a lot going on with this um, with the mix and I was thinking of maybe toning it down just to two colors but I did end up going with three different colors instead the reason being once you knock out some of the uh, 
blocks to make windows, it actually doesn't look as bad as I thought it was. But all the way through this build, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to have to tweak this. I'm going to have to change the, the color on it. But um, in the end, I just kept it as is. And instead, it, it did actually work, which is quite good. So there we go. Nice, nice look in there. So with the this one, there's the two main windows either side of it, um, and with the roof, I went with cobblestone, which I'm, I haven't been using a lot of cobblestone in this build, uh, but I was quite happy with actually putting that in for these ones. I want to start to variate more of the roofs. Um, you can see all the windows in there now, and you can also see the kind of gap going down and that kind of really steep uh, kind of archway, which is very, very claustrophobic with wood over the top of it there. So along the side here, uh, where we've actually got the town hall, I wanted to make a small little area uh, on the side of this. This is purely taken out of like The Witcher 3, really, when you go into um, when you go into Novigrad and you see these kind of areas that are locked off, these kind of um, small uh, courtyards type things. Um, I was thinking like that, as well as, of course, Assassin's Creed as well has those kind of things. I was thinking, I'm going to put one in there because I can't build anything there. Um, but what we're going to put in there, I don't know. Um, it might be that we have like a car or something like that, something that belongs to the town. Um, I don't know, we'll see. So there we go, getting another house in here. Again, all of these are on an angle because that's just how the slope kind of fits. It just works with with it. And again, it's all hiding that boardy house so you can't see it from the church, which I think is quite good. This one I've gone for quite a lot of pink colours. So really going with quite a lot of pinky kind of colours and magentas um, for it to go with a brick roof and having some... Uh, spruce wood in order to kind of frame that. I really like the color of these ones actually. The pinks especially go really well with with that kind of brick roof. I think it looks really good. Um, and for the first time putting in some crimson trapdoors. So I haven't used this at all in the entire town for windows. Um, so I thought actually I better do it now because if I don't do it now um, it might look a little bit strange later down the line if we haven't got it properly mixed. But here is the finished build guys. So we've got this street now coming off of the side here uh, with quite a few colourful houses. We have the boardy house there, we've got this nice blue house and also a nice pink house here. Um, I really like this kind of street and then you can see the graveyard. So you can see how much more open this space now feels because we've actually got that. Um, and it gives a bit more history to the town. And I've also finished up the back of the town hall as well, so made that look uh, really quite nice and kept the style going through and of course it's now got a, a way in from the back so it's all nice and level but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode if you have make sure to comment like and subscribe and as always guys i'll see you on the next one